Get started by moving your hands around. There has not been a day that I haven't learned new things all day long. Throughout the last couple weeks, we've learned all different kinds of things, different ideas that we could use in our classrooms. So I've been using the virtual reality to help students experience weightlessness and then tying that back into our standards with gravity. And it's been really exciting. We are running a three-week institute where we're helping elementary school teachers create biomechanics curriculum to use in their classes. Raise one arm, does this arm go? Biomechanics is the science of how the body moves, so it's things like physics and biology sort of fit together, which is all meeting elementary standards, but it's all about the body, so it means it's low cost. And a lot of the physics equipment, especially, is really expensive, but everybody has a body. And so you can really experience and understand the physics of how these things work, how balance works, how acceleration works, how all of these things, you know, go together when you are doing it yourself. So you just get. Okay. What we're hoping for is that the teachers take these lesson plans and run with them and bring them to their classrooms in the fall. And I think one of the main um, reasons we chose biomechanics to improve STEM is that biomechanics really encompasses all aspects. So we have science, we have technology, we have engineering, we have mathematics. Biomechanics is interdisciplinary and so we cover a lot of different STEM principles. So it's kind of a nice way to not only use your body but learn about a lot of different things at the same time. Okay, okay. and then you mark your angle there. I am so excited to bring all this back to my class. Like all the little bits and pieces of information I've learned about biomechanics. I just got goosebumps thinking about it. It's just very, very exciting to bring something new that'll support what we have to do in the classroom. Ta-da! Oh, excellent. Nice job.